join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just make it Ireland. Today we're enjoying a breathtaking journey through the Irish countryside, but not just any Irish countryside. We're in beautiful Connemara on the west coast of Ireland. The journey includes a drive along the stunning Killarney Fjord and ends at Kylemore Loch and the incredible Kylemore Abbey, one of Ireland's must-see big houses. And just look at these cloud-covered peaks in front of us. This terrain is typical of the Connemara area. Connemara is a region along the Atlantic coast in western County Galway and is therefore in the province of Connacht. When you see how totally isolated this place can be, you'll understand the origin of the Cromwellian term to hell or to Connacht. It was a place chosen to send Cromwell's Irish Catholic enemies because of its remoteness and poor land. The land may be poor in agricultural terms, but it's some of the most beautiful countryside in Ireland. Connemara also has the largest Gaeltacht in the country. For those viewing from outside Ireland, a Gaeltacht area is an Irish speaking region. It's in a part of Ireland that has an abundance of mountains, small lakes, coves, islands and peninsulas. So as you can imagine, it's in some stunning countryside. This beautiful area is, loosely speaking, the land west of Galway, that is west of Loch Corrib, as far as Killarney Harbour in the north and Galway Bay in the south. Since Connemara isn't a county, it has no actual geographical boundary, and exactly where the boundary lies is to an extent contested. And here's an example of just how barren this place can be. Connemara suffered very badly during the famine in Ireland, with mass depopulation and evictions by Anglo-Irish landlords. As a consequence, there was a backlash and it became a hotbed for the Irish Republican Brotherhood, the IRB. Similarly, this area saw action in the Irish War of Independence. Notably, the town of Clifton was the scene of a British war crime known as the Burning of Clifton. This was an incident where the infamous black and tans burned down 14 houses and businesses, beat and robbed local people at gunpoint and shot a man dead and another man in the face who happened to survive. It's difficult sometimes to reconcile the terrible brutality of conflict in Ireland with the sublime beauty of its landscape. Immediately after the War of Independence, during the Irish Civil War, Anti-Tree forces requisitioned Kylemore Abbey after the Anglo-Irish landlord fled. It was barricaded and prepared to fend off an expected attack by the newly formed Irish army. We'll see this amazing house at the end of this film, so stay watching for that. Connemara has a population of 32,000. And of these, 20 to 24,000 are native Irish speakers. The Irish nationalist Patrick Pearce himself had a cottage in Connemara where he came to study the Irish language. He would later be executed by a firing squad by the British for his part in the Easter Rising in 1916. Now we've just arrived at Killarney Fjord, an incredibly beautiful stretch of water that we'll follow for a while. This flooded valley is 16 kilometres long and as much as 45 metres deep. Seals, dolphins and sharks have all been sighted here. Now this might be the ideal time, if you're enjoying the film, to hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe. Over 80% of people viewing Naked Ireland films do so without subscribing, which of course is fine, but I'd really love it if you'd offer your support and hit the big subscribe button. Not only that, but if you're feeling really appreciative, did you know that you can now buy me a pint? 
If that interests you, you'll find the details on how to do that in the description below. Anyway, on we go. We've been very lucky with the weather, though as you can see there are some ominous clouds up ahead. And there's traffic coming in the other direction, the first evidence of civilization we've seen. Incidentally, if you've ever seen the 1990 film The Field, starring Richard Harris, John Hurt and Sean Bean, it was almost entirely shot here in Connemara. You've got to admit, it's pretty photogenic countryside, Connemara. We're now looking at boglands. This is where turf would be cut and dried to be burnt in the winter. It's the traditional fuel of the Irish countryside and has a very distinctive smell, very nostalgic for Irish people. Now the water on our left hand side is the Kylemore Lock, two kilometres long and one kilometre wide. You'll get your salmon and brown trout in there if you're an angler. By the way, this whole area here is part of the Twelve Bends Complex, a group of mountains that are classified as a special area of conservation. Just look at this scene. I mean, it's hard to capture the area's true beauty on camera. You've really got to visit it, which I hope you'll do, but this isn't bad. And look at how these trees line the road here. It's just all so beautiful. sunlight glinting in the water. It's all almost too good to be true. Now this stunning residence that I mentioned earlier is Kylemore Abbey. This magnificent house was built in 1868 as a private house, all 40,000 square feet of it. It's nowadays the home to Benedictine nuns and has been a monastery since 1920. If you'd like to see inside though, you can. It's one of Ireland's leading visitor attractions and it also has an impressive walled garden that you might also like to see. I hope this road trip through Connemara has been interesting for you. Please, if you haven't already, feel free to check out the wealth of other Naked Ireland videos that are available on my channel. And please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all very soon for the next Naked Ireland video.